welcome everyone to Yoga with Effie. Today, we do some yoga flow to really open up the body for people who do a lot of walking or running. So, when you do that, there's a lot of stiffness that tends to happen in the legs and hips. So we're going to open all those areas up so that you can walk and run with ease. So let's start lying on your back. Just like, just like Zach is doing right now, my model. Lie on your back in your most favorite shavasana. Allow the feet to be wider than hip distance. And your arms, palms up, away from your body. Come to a comfortable spot on the back of your head so that your neck can completely relax. And feel free to close your eyes as you bring your awareness into the internal. Notice where your body contacts the support beneath you. Notice the sense of touch and pressure you feel. your shins or behind your thigh. You may need to bring your right 
with your right elbow, lightly press your right knee back so that you really feel it in the right hip. Three more long, deep breaths here. towards the midline of the body, two knees stacked on top of each other. If you need a little more, pick your legs up into whale and grab the, the tops of your feet. Whale's tail. So sometimes the hip sockets are in a direction where the knees don't quite stack right on top of each other. So that's okay, as long as you're feeling it in the hips. towards the armpits on either side of the rib cage, soles of the feet facing the sky, knees bent at 90 degree angle. Happy baby. Inhale, lengthening the spine. Exhale, using the strength of your arms, pull your knees towards your armpits. Next, inhale, release the right leg down, flex the right foot, place the right hand on top of the thigh. Exhale, left knee, in towards the left armpit. Half happy baby. This kind of looks like an upside down low lunge. Extending the right hip flexor, compressing the left hip flexor. towards the torso, left hand in between the legs, right arm, hand around, interlacing the fingers on the shin or behind the thigh. Left elbow can press left knee back to intensify the opening sensation. Flex the left foot so there's no sensation in the knee. Three more long, deep breaths here. And notice how the sensation changes as you inhale and exhale. Until you come up to a seated position. 
and join us in tabletop. Spread the fingers wide, equalize the weight in the four corners of the palms, press the fingertips into the floor, hands underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips for cat cow, moving the spine, increasing its mobility. Inhale, tilt the pelvis, pelvis arch the spine, shoulders down and back, looking up. Exhale, tuck the pelvis, spine to sky, extending spine, chin to chest, press the hands down into the floor. Inhale, tuck the pelvis, or tilt the pelvis, arch the spine, shoulders down and back, press the heel of the hand down and towards the knees, increasing the compression. Exhale, tuck, extend the spine, moving the spine like an accordion, Use your breath and your movements, inhaling as you arch, compression. Exhale, as you extend, moving the spinal fluid throughout the spine, lubricating the joints, lubricating the nerves, so very healthy. Do a cat-cow every day. One last time, inhale. Exhale. On your inhale, come to a flat back. Curl the toes under, lift up into a downward dog. Press the hands down, press the floor with your hands down and away from you. Bend your knees, tilt the tailbone up. Then start to straighten your legs, keeping this openness, this long line of energy, this opening feeling along the arms, shoulders, upper back. Bend your knees, tilt the tailbone up. So if I were adjusting you, I melt your armpits more towards the toes, tilt the tailbone up. Feel that opening in the upper back, shoulders and arms, but then also along the length of the legs. It's okay, your knees might have to bend for a long time before you start to straighten them. But what's important is that you feel that long opening in the front, in the top of the body, so, and then, an opening in the back of the, uh, the back of the legs and Achilles tendon. Bend one knee, send the other heel to the floor, and vice versa, walking your dog, extending the backs of the legs. Swishing the hips. Melt both heels down to the floor if you can. And walk your feet in between the hands to the top of your mat. Bring the weight towards the front toes, hang your head, allow your neck to relax, feeling the weight of your head. Press your feet into the mat, slowly roll up, vertebra by vertebra, stacking one on top of each other, all the joints. Knees on top of ankles, hips on top of knees, vertebra one on top of each other, shoulders roll down and back, head right on top of shoulders. Beautiful. Bring your feet together. If this is uncomfortable, feet hip distance. Inhale, arms come all the way up. Exhale, float the right arm down. Exhaling, lengthening or Folding over to the right, sliding the right fingertips down the leg. Press the left foot into the floor. Left shoulder back, engage the abs. Inhale, lengthen, left shoulder back. Exhale, right fingertips slide down the leg even more. Firm up the abs. Strengthening the obliques here, strengthening the spine here, but also getting into the entire side body. Press the left hip towards the left wall, feeling that opening right there in the hip in the side of the leg, an oblique. Inhale, right arm comes up. Exhale, float the left hand down, fold over to the left. Press the right foot into the floor, send the right hip to the side wall. Inhale, lengthen the spine, right shoulder back like you're between two panes of glass, pull in the belly. Exhale, slide the left fingers down the leg intensifying the opening sensation along the entire right side. Exhale, 
exhale all the air out. Inhale, left arm comes all the way up as the body comes upright. Exhale, hands to the small of the back, finger, fingertips pointing down, press the elbows together for a back bend, pulling the abs, engage the glutes, inhale the eyes up the wall, across the ceiling, head all the way back, squeeze the elbows together so the back bend goes into the mid spine as well. It's like curving backward over a big beach ball. If there's any pinching in the neck, bring the chin to the chest. Still arching the spine, but you're just protecting your neck. Engage the glutes, equalize the weight in your feet. Engage the legs, raise the kneecaps. On your next inhale, slowly trace your eyes back across the ceiling, down the wall. Bring the hands on the waist. Inhale, lengthen, hinging up the hips, bend your knees, sandwich the upper body on top of the lower body. Reach down with your peace fingers and grab your big toes. Bend the elbows so that you make a big diamond with the arms gluing the upper body to the lower body. Then if you have more space, start to straighten the knees. Straighten the legs until you feel a good sensation opening along the backs of the legs. If you notice that your become your upper body becomes unglued to the lower body, then this motion is going to the low back. We want it in the hamstrings, the backs of the legs. So re-bend your knees, sandwich your upper body back down, and target the backs of the legs. Bring the weight towards the toes a little. Pull on your big toes with your arms making that big diamond. Exhale all the air out. Bring the hands back on the waist. For the long spine, come all the way up. And bring the hands down at your sides for a little flow. So feet either together or hip distance for your flows. Inhale, arms come all the way up. Exhale, fold forward with the long spine. Inhale, lengthen, hands on fingertips to the floor or hands on the shins. Exhale, bend the knees. Step to your version of plank, either on your feet or on your knees. Inhale, lengthen through the crown of the head, long spine. Exhale. Bend the elbows beside the body, Chaturanga. Inhale, Cobra or Upward Dog. Pull in Mula Bandha, squeezing anus, Kegel muscles, lower belly. Exhale, lift the hips up into Downward Dog. Press the floor down and away from you with your hands. Spread your fingers wide. Press the fingertips into the floor. Equalize the weight in the four corners of the palms, pressing those down. Armpits towards the toes. Bend the knees, tilt the tailbone up. Then start to straighten your legs again. Inhale, right leg comes high into the sky. Bend the right knee, heel to glute. Open up right hip, stacking on top of the left hip. Open the belly to the side wall. Feel the pulling in the inner part of the right side of the belly, the psoas, that gets so tight when you walk and run a lot. Feel the pulling sensation. Come back to a three-legged downward dog where two hips are parallel to the floor. Exhale, bend, bend the knee to the nose and then place the right foot in between the hands. Inhale. High press and lunge. Exhale, sink the hips down, tuck the pelvis. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, interlace your hands behind your back. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Raise the fists. Inhale, pull in Mula Bandha. Arch backward. Exhale, fold forward. Long spine to about a 45 degree angle. Raise the fists. Inhale, come back. Exhale. side of the 
foot. Hop the left foot forward a little bit. Straighten front, the front leg. You might need two blocks, one underneath each hand. Inhale, raise the foot, the toes. Exhale, bring the foot back down. So make sure as you inhale, you raise. You feel this in the opening sensation along the back of that leg. Matching breath with movement helps, helps to coordinate the nervous system and all the glands, the hormones, all the rhythms in the body. Exhale the foot down. Place the left hand and block beside the foot. Square the hips, left hip forward, right hip back. Inhale the revolve triangle, raise the right arm, so two arms in one line, looking up to the sky or down to the ground. Hole in the belly. Inhale, left hip forward, right hip back. Reach up to the sky. Exhale, twist. Feeling the opening sensation on the side of the hip where it attaches to the leg. The IT band. There's not very many motions we do in a day to open this area, which gets stiff with all the walking and the running. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, float the right hand down. Take away the blocks. Feel free, step back into your plank and do your chaturanga, your vinyasa, or just go straight back into downward dog. Inhale, left leg high, high in the sky, hips parallel, three-legged downward dog. Now bend the knee, stack left hip on top of right, heel to glute, open up, side body, or left part of the stomach towards the side of the room. Shoulders and hands are parallel. that's deep inside the belly. Come back to a three-legged downward dog. Left hip comes down. Inhale deeply. Exhale. Knee to nose. Place the left foot in, in between the hands. Inhale. High crescent lunge. Exhale. Sink the hips down. Tuck the pelvis so you intensify the opening sensation along the front side the right hip flexor. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, interlace the fingers behind the back. Raise the fists. Pull in Mula Bandha. Inhale, arch back. Exhale, fold forward to about a 45 degree angle. Inhale, arch back. Exhale, fold forward. Release the hands. Inhale, arms up by the ears. And exhale, hold the hands on either side of the foot. Take your blocks. Place your hands on top of them. Float your right foot forward so that the heel contacts the floor. Inhale, raise the toes. Exhale, toes come down. Use your own breath, your own movement. Conscious, coordinate the breath and the movement. Notice the sensation. This is the yoga. Not how flexible you are, how far down you go, what your pose looks like. It's using conscious breath with conscious movement, observing the sensation without judgment. Bring the foot flat on the floor. Take the right block, place it closer to your foot. Square the hips, right hip forward, left hip back. Inhale, left arm comes up. Stacking two arms on top of each other. Inhale, lengthen your, lengthen your spine. Exhale, twist, right hip forward, left hip back. Two arms in one line. Pull in the belly. Three more long, deep breaths here. Grip the floor with the four corners of the feet. Raise the arches. Engage the legs. Nice, strong legs. Scissoring the hips. 
right it forward, left hip back, focusing on the sensation on the outer left hip and leg where the IT band is. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, float the left hand down. Bend the front leg. Take away the props. Hands underneath the shoulders. Either press into downward dog or do your vinyasa. Bend your knee, open up. If wild thing or reversing your dog is in your practice, slowly lift your right hand, place your right foot flat on the floor, left, left leg straight, right arm to the sky, or actually back as you're opening the front body. Press into the left arm, Left hand in line with left shoulder. And then slowly come out of your wild thing. Come into three-legged downward dog. Two hips. Two hips parallel to the floor. Inhale deeply. Exhale, knee to nose. Place the foot in between the hands. Rest your left knee down. Inhale, low lunge. Exhale, hands to the middle, twist over to your right, left elbow to right knee. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, pull the belly, look over the right shoulder. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, twist. Inhale, untwist, arms come high into the sky. Exhale, hands down, that happens. The balancing pose. Hands onto the instep. Heel toe the feet, the foot out a couple of times. Wing your knee out. Getting into another part of your hip. So you may want to extend the left leg. Inhale, come forward, exhale, rock back. You may want to do this on your elbows or on your knee. As long as you're feeling it, you're doing it. Open up this area. closer to your glute. Three breaths here. Exhale, release that. Inhale, straighten the front leg. Inhale, lengthen, flex the foot. Exhale, fold. outside of the right the right wrist shin is about a 45 degree angle from the top of your mat the more your right foot is the more your shin is parallel to the top of your mat the deeper the sensation goes slide the left leg all the way back left ankle in line with the left hip pigeon flex the right foot sink the hips down left hip forward right hip back two hips are squared press the top of the back foot into the mat, engaging the back leg, engaging the glutes. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, press back up. Exhale, 
yourself up, bring your hands closer towards your hips, shoulder distance, curl the back toes under, lift up into a downward dog. And if you want to do your vinyasa, feel free to do that. Feet are hip distance, hands are shoulder distance, tailbone high into the sky, lift the sit bones. into the sky, bend the knee, step the left hip on top of right hip. If you have more space than bird dog, um, whoa, <laughs> wild thing, it's wild today, is in your practice, then lift your left hand, slowly float your left foot towards the floor, right leg extends, left arm back, reach into the back wall or front wall. Right hand right under right shoulder, that's where it's most stable. Breathe into it, and then slowly come out. Step both hips parallel to the floor. Three-legged downward dog, inhale deeply. Exhale, bend the knee to nose. Left foot in between hands, and then lower the back knee down. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, sink the hips down. Tuck the pelvis, inhale, lengthen, exhale, hands down the middle, twist to the left, right elbow to left knee, inhale, lengthen, exhale, pull the belly, twist, looking over the left shoulder. Press the right knee, the right elbow against the left knee to help you in this twist. Twist arms high to the sky. Exhale, hands down into the midline. Heel toe the foot a couple of times to the outer edge of the left mat, of the, of the left part of the mat. Wave the knee out. Come onto the back leg. Inhale, rocking forward. Exhale, rocking back. So you can do this on your knee or on your elbow. Any combination as long as you're really working dynamically into the hip. Stop, come back up, heel toe the foot back into the midline, hand on, on, the, on the outside of the left foot, then bend the back knee. This might be your perfect stretch for the thigh. If not, you want to grab, left hand on left knee, reach back, and grab your back foot. So this could be very heavy on your back knee. So roll, maybe put a blanket or something or roll up your mat to go underneath your knee. We're on carpet, so it's cushy here. However, it does prove for the balancing. <laughs> Release the back leg. Bring hands up either side of the foot. Straight, inhale, straighten the front leg. Flex the foot. Inhale, nice long spine. Exhale, float upper body to your shin. Inhale, up. Always with a long spine. Exhale down and stay here for another breath at your deepest expression. Inhale, bend your left leg to come back. Hands underneath the shoulders. Bring the left knee behind the left wrist. On the outside of the left wrist or right behind. Shin, 
at about a 45 degree angle, flex the left foot, slide the right leg all the way back, right ankle in line with left hip. Shin a little more perpendicular to the top of your mat if you need some more. Right and forward, left hip back, that continual scissoring action, press the back foot into the floor. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, float down, using your breath with movement. Inhale, press up. Exhale, float down. Inhale, press up. Last time, exhale, float down, and then stay there. Relax your forehead so that you can relax your neck. Flex the left foot, press the right foot down into the floor, engage the right leg, engage the glutes. Right hip forward, left hip back. Three more. Long, deep breaths here. side to side, noticing how the thigh bone rotates in the hip socket. And then come to a straddle. Extend your legs. Kneecaps, feet flexed. Kneecaps, both pointing high to the sky. Coming onto the sit bones, tilt the hips back, or tilt the hip bones forward. So you may, with a long spine, be right here and you're feeling it in the inner legs, perfect. You can walk down, have some more space, maybe grabbing your shins, ankles, or even peace fingers with the big toes. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, fold forward. Five long, deep breaths here. shoulders, elbows, over to the right, extending the entire left side of the body, cross the right ankle over the left, keeping hips and shoulders flat along the floor. So it's almost like that side bend that we did standing, but this time you're targeting even more the side body. It's a little easier when you're lying down. Three more long, deep breaths here in, Banana. Exhale all the air out. Uncross your ankles if they're crossed. Inhale, slide your body back into the midline. Lengthen your spine. Exhale, slide the ankles over to the left. Shoulders, elbows over to the left. Cross the right ankle over the left. Extend the entire right side. Feel the length. Feel the opening. Long, deep, yogic breaths. Use your 
use your full lungs and notice how the sensation changes as you breathe. out and cross your ankles inhale back into the middle exhale hug your knees into your chest bring your hands on your knees and draw circles with your knees massaging your low back circle in one direction and then circle in the other direction come to a stop hug your knees in Extend your left leg down, extend your right leg up. If you have a strap, you might wanna put a strap over, over your foot and place both ends of the strap in your left hand. I'm gonna just grab the outer edge of the left of my foot. On your exhale, draw your leg over across your body. Extend your right arm palm down, anchored into the floor. Now, if this is too much with the straight leg, you can bend your leg and place your hand on top of your knee. So we wanna get into the outer, of the, the outer part of the hip and leg. And you can do that with a bent knee as well. Exhale all the air out. On your inhale, on um, your twist. Ooh, hug your knees into your chest. Extend your left leg down and your, nope, your right leg down and your left leg up. Place the strap over both, both pieces into your right hand or grab the outer edge of the, of the left foot or bend your knee on the outside of the knee and draw the left leg across your body. Reach the left arm out, shoulder height, palm down. Really anchor the left, the left arm down and with your right hand anchoring your left leg or your knee down. Zach, you can bend your knee, try it that way. Like the stretch in the back of the leg and oh. the glute. Oh, good. Okay. It's working for him. Great. So as long as it's working for you. And that's the thing, right? Your teacher might look at you and you look uncomfortable, but really you have an intention to the shape you're making and you're feeling it. So good. Keep on doing it. Exhale all the air out. Inhale, untwist. Hug your knees into your chest. Press the low back into the mat. Tuck the chin in. Roll your neck along the mat. And then extend yourself, your legs, your arms into your most favorite shavasana. Release the breathing technique and just breathe naturally and normally. Feel free to close your eyes and allow yourself to come to a most comfortable position where your muscles can go on a vacation and just relax. Release from the bones and melt into the floor. so much activity during the day. We use our muscles, we use our bodies in strong ways. Activity, creating heat. All of those cells, all those muscles, organs, giving messages of work to your body, to your cells. But the 
the work doesn't get integrated. The instructions don't get done, don't get used until you're in a restful state, which is why there's a Shavasana in every yoga class. Breathe naturally and normally and allow the instructions of healing, lengthening, strengthening, mobility to be absorbed into your body. up above your head, point your toes, give yourself a nice stretch, and then bend your knees, roll onto your favorite side, and press yourself up to a seated position. So when your hips are on a block, they're higher than your knees. It's easier to sit in a cross-legged position. It's also easier to lengthen your spine and allow the low back to do its natural curve. So a nice long spine, roll shoulders down and back, bring the hands to the heart center. Press the knuckles of the thumbs into the center of your chest. Feel free to close your eyes and bring your chin parallel to the floor. Honor your practice today. Honor the effort given to bringing awareness to your internal, to opening up your body, to balancing your body. Feeling that sense of gratefulness that you put balance into your life today. Thank you for joining me. Have a beautiful day. 
life in me honors the life in you. Namaste. Namaste. And I'll see you again soon.